Hi! <laughs> Hello, ladies, gents, and veterans of the Nintendo Entertainment System era. This is UFO 50, a collection of 50 games in a package worth $25. Each and every video game is 50 cents. And I've been wondering, this is a, I'm going to start with a preamble. I usually launch into the gameplay, but if you want to go straight to the game, you can see the timestamp below. But I think this one needs a bit of a, a premise establishment of how, what kind of mindset I'm going to go in because it feels unfair to evaluate the whole package, which is all a meta narrative of is this old console that goes through the, their history of developing games for it starts super retro and ends in a maybe a, a late Super Nintendo kind of vibe. That is my understanding of it. It feels unfair to evaluate every game in a vacuum. There's going to be some stinkers in there that they made kind of a stinker because it fits with the narrative. I'm uh, This is all speculation because I'm, I'm not certain what I'm going to find, but I don't want to go in saying this game is crap and I will never ca be caught there playing it. It's like, I'm not gonna play this one, but I get why it's here. They kind of added it because of meta reasons and not because they thought it was an excellent video game. So I think the mindset I'm going to go in is I paid two quarters for this game. Is it worth the two quarters I paid for it? And I guess we'll have three grading outcomes. Will I, number one, will I want to spend some more quarters to play this, this uh, cabinet more? Two, it was a good time, worth the money, I'm not gonna revisit it. Three, wow, what a waste of two quarters. Delete this from existence. And then once I have a good idea of what the game is like, I'll say, how much would I pay on Steam if I just saw this video game on the Steam page by itself? And I think that's a, a pretty damn great way of evaluating these games, both individually and also as part of the whole. All right, enough preamble. Let's jump right in, see what kind of introduction we're going to get. And after that, I thought, let's not do it even do it in order. I'm going to go memento on this bitch. We're going to start at the end, then we're going to go back to the beginning, and we will sandwich the one in the middle. That is what we, were, we will end up with. So we'll start at the very pinnacle of UFO 50 development. Then we'll go back to the beginning and we'll jump back and forth just to change it up a bit. All right, all right, we get a save file. And here's our gigantic super collection of video games. Here's what I want. I want the options menu where I can lower the volume of things. Let me check out the options. You can rebind the keys. You can give it a CRT feel. I've never liked this, so we're not going to go without it, but you know, it's there. And here's the volume toggle. As a person who records content, I have found that 30 to 40% always puts the balance quite nicely, and I don't have to edit later the balance of video games. Probably this will be exactly the same. We can change the mood? Oh, amazing. Give me blood. Blood, wow, there's quite a few. Infinity, eh, let's go with blood. I don't know what this is, oh, the... This is the filtering, like the order of the game, of the games. Chronology, for sure, I will go with that. But I appreciate the fact that you can make the game list be ordered by your favorites and that kind of stuff. Let's go with chronology because that is the entire gimmick that I'm going to follow. And then there's a terminal where you can enter codes. Maybe these are save codes, like there used to be way, way back the game would give you a code so you could resume your video gaming experience. That is the way it used to be, okay? All right, back to the library. Let's see what the pinnacle of UFO 50 development looks like. Cyber Owls, info. A super weapon threatens to destroy the world and it's up to the Cyber Owls to save the day. One player, platform, shooter, and strategy? All right. Oh, I can actually favorite, favorite, huh? favorite it. All right, let's see these koalas. <laughs> they look like koalas to me. I am sure that you full soft 
made an incredible banger of a last release. A secret hog. Something, something. The lady furtively advances through the place. Agent L says, Mr. President! The notorious rogue commando group Hawk has somehow acquired a doomsday weapon. I've only located the missile. The warhead must be hidden somewhere else. Mm, let me call my mom. This is too much of a crisis. Ooh, call the owls! Cyber owls, we need your help. Ooh, look at these incredible owls. I am truly in awe of the owl action already. The Cyber Owls shall be called for this mission. Hawk is threatening to use their Doomsday Missile and their, if their demands are met in 24 hours. Let us hoot, let us hoot at them. There's no control, I guess to, I get to skip these. I've located their four secret bases around the world. If you each take one, we might find the missile in time. I calculate a 4% chance of success in this operation. Good luck. Never tell me the odds. So we got four places to go, and each one will be headed by a different dude. Or dudette. Let's hoot at uh, Chicago and see if the Windy City does not blow me away and out of the sky. Mercenaries have been spotted at a warehouse in Chicago's industrial district. Octavio, your powerful punches may prove promising in penetrating the partition of this... The partition of this beautiful Presidio? That was a absolutely abominable alliteration. Holy crap. <laughs> Do you want to start this mission? Of course, not on purpose, but it's still abominable. Yes, let us punch our way to victory. I don't give a hoot about these terrorists. Careful, Octavio, this place is crawling with the Hawk mercenaries. Don't worry about me, Wells. I didn't master Kung Hu for fun. Of course, don't forget to charge up your punch to throw patented owl fist. Wow. All right, well, I jump, I kick, and I charge. Amazing. Okay, this is very much super arcade. I am, <laughs> uh, I don't know if that strategy oh wow just kick the kick the cat uh that strategy label is much to go by it said strategy in the in the oh uh, you can't oh you can actually grab it all right all right good stuff i am bad but you know that is me starting the video game and i figured i would just give each video game 20 minutes if it turns out that uh, it is way too short because the game is a long form kind of thing. We'll spend a little bit longer. I will go out of my way to make sure that, you know, I give it its fair shake. Maybe with a follow up video, maybe uh, editing some later gameplay. All right, all right. But this is like 100% 2D uh, ninja gating kind of garbage. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I expected something more advanced or rather more. More, I don't know when I say complex, but oh, you can actually crouch right here. All right, all right. Let me just charge up this punch, and you can move while you punch. Can I maybe grab this? No, I cannot. Uh, I expect there's something more Super Nintendo esque. This is still could you could have seen this in the NES, but that is a hundred percent a problem with my own expectation like my blind expectation of, of the preconceptions that I had. All right, let me kick you out of existence. Are we carry on forward, no? Oh, I get the incredible key to get onto this incredible loader, forklift. And now the owl will punch his enemies in the face. Probably I should go out of my way to crouch all the time and dodge properly. <laughs> it did warn me. It did warn me a horrible danger was coming my way, so I have nobody to blame on myself. You would think that this owl will have a better ooh, sense of danger other than exclamation point. Alright, alright. But I will say though the platforming feels excellent. Like Oh jeez! <laughs> well that's something that happened. Can we just just get one restart, huh? One life. That's it. Uh, the owl has been captured, apparently, 
Agent Octavio has been defeated and Owl Napped has been held in a nearby secure hawk facility. It's a dangerous mission, but one of you is going to have to get in there and rescue him and fly the coop. Which of you will accept this mission? I see. It's not a game over screen. It is all... Give me a gun. Give me a big fat gun so I can mow down the scum lords. Oh jeez, this is a completely different... Okay, the strategy tag and now has been revealed. It was not as simple as at first. Look, and that is the thing when you check these games, it's like a roguelike turn-based kind of thing, kind of grid-based, uh, with... I can shoot, I can throw a grenade. All right, so move this way. Oh! I'm a, I'm a bit of an idiot. I'm gonna move back. How much health do these scum lords have? He actually got his turn even though I, I shot him. Oh, my grenade is gone. Terrible. Who shot? Pow, 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 pow. All right, all right, I get it. Are these flamethrowers? What? <laughs> that doesn't seem... That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> you get... You get spotted by the... The grenadiers. You basically... Well, I guess you forfeited your life. That's too bad. Agent Octavio has been defeated and owl napped. He's being held and somebody else also got owl napped here. Uh, well, let's uh, send the pretty lady who will flash her goods at the enemies and that way she will get through it. Apparently she has a, probably a sleeping dart and D is maybe invisibility? Maybe some kind of decoy? They have a patrol, huh? This invisibility, okay. But he still chases me though, what's the point? <laughs> okay, he, he do be sleeping though. Oh, and he has a cooldown, man. Bruh. Okay, it has infinite range. This is off. Oh, and you have to use the environment. Uh, use the enemies against themselves. Pretty neat. He gets prepared to shoot. All right, all right, I get it. So they just don't move, huh? Amazing. Oh, that's some cool time. My bad, my bad. I apologize. There's a grenade. The guy behind. He's doing nothing, though. Uh, how the hell do I provoke the guy behind? Oh, you, you. Ah, I see. We're using the moron behind it because these henchmen were all purchased wholesale from... from the... From the Cairo School of Idiocy, and there is no reason to fear them in any capacity. So I guess, like, I need to alert the guy behind. How do you even get in here? Like, maybe with invisibility. I can't just walk past them, though. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just set this guy asleep. Go forward, see what happens. Oh, you can punch him, all right. Feel like the grenade shouldn't have hit me, but okay, I accept the, the consequences of my actions. I guess I need to get this man to sleep before he shoots me in the head. Let me go invisible. Okay. Retreat! <laughs> this is bad. Oh, jeez. You absolute idiots, this makes me, really makes me feel like I'm playing uh, Into the Breach a little bit. You don't destroy the credit card, do you? I know it's not a credit card. He's gonna grab it, bitch. All right, we did that, yeah, amazing. Oh, my bad. Wow, <laughs> I was almost done, and then they got me. Please, I want to go back to side scrolling. This is a truly a humiliation. Indeed, Agent Octavio only. The gourmet turtle is left. But it's like a, a two stage video game. You get the side scrolling missions, you get the strategy layer. Pew, pew, pew. pew. It has a cooldown of one, okay. They give me one turn to 
charge it up and then you have to move away. Oh, jeez! <laughs> I didn't realize that was the thing that was happening. Some scum lord. Wow, I just went into the line of fire. Not great. Okay, good stuff. Do you shoot? Do you shoot the access card? You kind of have to shoot him in order to not be murdered? Okay, good, good. That he shot me back. That is just not right, man. That ain't right. Ah. These jetpack fools. They need to be stopped. <laughs> He's just gonna kill me, right? Yep, yep. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Look, it's the first time trying to figure it out. We're going to... Hawk could not be stopped in time. The world's over! And... They destroyed the capital city. Their actions started a war and brought about an age of chaos that lasted for a thousand years. Well, that is dire consequences to our actions. I accept my absolute incompetence. Let's go in with a different... Ow! Let's go in to Moscow with the tranquilizer dart and the... Invisibility? What does she do? Oh, it's actually every owl will play differently, I see. Are you ready for this, Gwyn? The security here is no joke! I've gotten through tighter security than this, Wells. Remember Operation Grasshopper, bitch? You're absolutely right, Gwyn. I'm just worried we need to find that warhead. Leave it to me. If that warhead is here, it's as good as ours. Don't you mean as owls? <laughs> so it's not turn-based anymore. I shoot. Looks like I only have three shots of my weapon. Mm, do I have infinite range? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, I'm using the key. Oh, with D that you switch. Okay, okay. You asleep now. I have used my weapon like a buffoon. Do you get back up, buddy? I wonder if there are they uh, get replenished at any point. Probably there will be ammo pickups on the floor. All right, this is basically Metal Gear Solid kind of uh, vibe, right? Die! Oh, I meant to shoot, but instead I press the other button. Die a million deaths! Oh, and then they get alerted to my presence. Can't, can't I just simply ignore? I can just run through this shit, right? Hello. <laughs> you probably don't want to step in the camera. Uh, gonna maybe get on top of this? No. Well, definitely... Whee! Oh, okay. The, once they know you're here, you're gonna have a bad time. And two touches are enough to get you murdered. All right, good, good to know, good to know. Uh, no replenishment of my resources. Okay, you saw me through the camera. Found a grenade! Truly incredible. But how do you use it, though? How the hell do you use the grenade? I'm outside. Oh, oh, I see. Now I'm cycling through three items. That is uh, upsetting. Seems like these idiots only look straightforward. Peripheral vision was not invented in the 80s. That's uh, a silly concept. I'm just going forward, hopefully. I'll get somewhere important. As long as I just start running right away. So, yeah, we do get replenishments of our items. We'll probably just yeah, do one of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three darts. This guy's not even looking my way. Probably once you switch screens, nothing happens. Let me dart you. Dart you real good. Get wrecked, son. Take one of those, call me in the morning and you wake up. Maybe we can hook up. Or maybe I will hoot at you. You absolute buffoons shoot each other. <laughs> that is so stupid. You are the absolute worst guards. Well, I am dead. The absolute worst guards, they met the absolute worst special agent. And that way, uh, the complete defeat was attained. All right, the thing was captured. Do you get the option? To just do another mission or you're just stuck 
trying to rescue them. Bro, it looks like you're stuck trying to rescue them. All right, and then you get to the, this weird strategy roguelike layer, turn-based roguelike. It's like three game modalities in one, which is neat. Die, die terribly. You did. It's like you guys have a a knife apparently. The the green dudes are knife wielders. This guy has a freaking grenade. Ah! You're good, good. Oh, he actually uh. No qualms. Continuing to assault me. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Pfft, idiot! Killed himself. What a buffoon. Uh, we could totally grenade these scum lords. Get wrecked. Oh, I thought that he had uh, more of a grace period. So you can't really shoot him. You kind of have to. Wish you could just pass the turn. Yeah, there you go. I can't. I can't move from here. Ah! <laughs> How you even stop this guy? Oh, I see. I get it. I get it. You can do that, but you can then move here. And you get the chance to shoot. All right, all right. Need a little bit of figuring out. This. Huh. That doesn't actually land, though. Oh, I get it. All right. He stays one more turn, but he doesn't get the chance to shoot. I get it. Hey, buddy. You shoot, right? Yeah. And then you get, uh... You just move in front of it. All right, it's just a matter of uh, recognizing patterns, then see the freaking trap door! <laughs> Bruh. It would be nice to actually succeed at one of the missions. What was this guy about? I forget completely. I picked him earlier, but I already forgot what he's about. He has a cooldown gun, and then maybe a charge. Pew pew. There you go. Looks like some kind of charging attack. Nice. You give me a moment. And then we gotta move away. Good stuff, good stuff. Probably stop now. Nice. Figure it out. So this guy's gonna try to shoot me. And then you can move back in there. Alright, give me that credit card. I'm going to charge. Oh, you're just going to kill your friend then, right? <laughs> Buffoon! Alright, we can do something like this. Get wrecked. Once you recognize the patterns, it's really not bad. Oh, this guy's a little too close. Wonder what D does. Let's see. Charge! Pretty neat, pretty neat. I'm a little disappointed that we got damage there. Hey! Success! <laughs> Amazing! I was able to rescue the owl. And then everything is solved. Can we go to Congo Basin and get another rescue going? Okay, so this guy is nice. I'm going to use him again because uh, the super spy lady, not so super. I despise her. I didn't mean to grab, use the charge. Wonder if you get immunity? You don't get immunity. In fact, you dash straight through. So basically, I have thrown away all of my health. Not great. <laughs> hey, buddies. Uh, how am I doing? This is not right. This is not right. Dash! I'm dead. That was awful. That was the entirety of that experience was absolutely terrible. We are once more captured. We just can't catch a break. Maybe uh, I can punch everybody to death. All he has is just punching. I assume that he gets immunity once he punches because otherwise we're kind of boned. Bruh. Come on, motherfucker. <laughs> He's just broken. Okay, you pushed him away. If I this, is, this is just terrible. I can't do anything. <laughs> this feels like uh, that was 100% unwinnable. 
come on. That was absolutely terrible, and I hated it. Maybe, you know, it does, it just sends the message that, hey, maybe don't send the brain-dead imbecile that just punches everybody into the rescue mission. <laughs> you don't have three options. You have, yeah, don't, you don't have four options. You have two options. Sleep, dumbass. Holy crap. Sleep you as well. And then you can punch. Aha, you can just stab them in the head once. Once you get close enough for it. You're asleep. I can actually go in here. Uh, we got quite the awful configuration here. But I should have time to put you to sleep. But then if I go in there and try to stab him, I should get one turn of stabbing, right? Uh-oh. Okay, good, good. Get murdered! The more I... get through this roguelike environment, the more I enjoy it. Uh-oh. If I stab you, will I get the chance? Yeah, to move away? Yeah, you idiot! <laughs> uh, I'll let you shoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we go back in here. Please, I just want to murder you. Oh, yeah! Super Spy actually is uh, amazing. She's great at her job. 30 minutes are up. We, uh, let's see. We can do one regular side-scrolling mission. Actually, we don't know, like, each and every character seems to have uh, its own modality. So, it is like the hidden level of gameplay over there is like a whole, like, five different genres smashed together. Animals have been seen fleeing the jungle, leading me straight to a hawk smuggling operation out there. Angle. As a survival expert, you're the best owl for this job. Bring some extra ammo. This one is going to get spicy. Do you want to start this mission? Sure. Let's see what Angle plays like. Oh, I see. Well, you can already tell what kind of gameplay it's going to be. Be careful, Angle. It's a real jungle out there. Hawk agents are everywhere. Hmm. Well, I'm sure you'll handle it fine. We're counting on you. Find that weapon. Uh, all I need to do is mow down start. the entire opposition. You roll with D, you attack with A. Basically, you just murder everybody. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> like, uh, how do I shoot this? You shoot it by actually pressing down the pressing the down arrow. Just come, lords. You can only move if you're not shooting. Oh, don't grenade me. Just come back. You trash. You weirdo. Eh, eh. It's a little funky though, like... It takes some getting used to, to where do you put the reticle. Oh, that's right, you can roll, I forgot about that. The reticle only moves when you're shooting, but you have to press down the button for a little while. If you are running, you stop moving a little after the fact, so you, it's, uh, it's a little funky. You scum lords. Ah! No, I rolled straight into the grenade. <laughs> oh, you can also throw grenades. I think I grabbed it. I'm throw it. I'm through it. Ah, oh, I see. I see. I get it. I think you have to use both. Both. Uh, both <laughs> buttons at the same time. It's difficult, okay, to pay attention to what's happening on screen. And then also not be murdered I think you're just supposed to destroy everything on sight until you find the thing that you're looking for whoa let me just destroy the freaking truck is that the thing oh crap the super ball man is going to ball mow me down so you're the villain behind this operation money back 
I brought company too, girly. Come on, Sai, let's put this nosey right night bird down. Bruh. <laughs> Sai cow. <laughs> yeah, let's make Swiss cheese out of this chick, Manny. All right. That is uh, terribly sexist. I don't appreciate it. Uh, you are, uh, people are scum, and I'm going to bring girl power to this terrible hole in the ground that you call a base. Oh, yeah, I've been murdered. Never mind. Okay, you do get an extra koala, but pretty sure this is as far as it gets. You just get one extra chance. You get plenty of time to. To shoot him dead. Maybe if he can probably he won't come back, right? How dare you? How dare you get away from the screen? Oh no no, I got too close. Gotta hold down the the button, and after maybe a second of holding it down, you can move the reticle away from the center. Pretty funky. Oh yeah, get it. Some concentration here because you know I actually have a chance of not failing miserably. Well, there is no super weapon here, you idiot! Sure, are you sure? Have you interrogated any of the Hawk agents? There are no more agents, they're all dead. Ah, of course. <laughs> well, good, good job, return to base and we'll continue searching. Mission should say. So, okay, all right. I think I got a good handle of what this game is like, right? I think, unless there's an extra, probably once you beat every level, there's going to be an extra layer. I think there's one owl that they didn't try out, but I kind of get it. Would I put some more quarter? I would definitely say this game is worth more than 50 cents. Here, we are going to our final thoughts here. This game is definitely worth more than 50 cents. Would I keep playing this game if this was an arcade cabinet and I wanted to to stay in there? Mm. I was like, okay, I got my fun. Do I really care about what happens or what this game is about or what other video game genre there was hidden beneath all the other layers of video game genres? I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay having experienced that. I'm just moving on. But hey, I definitely got my m money's worth. It was not a missable experience. It was a fun little arcade game. I did expect something like the range of complexity to be much higher from the first to the to the last, but probably that's going to happen with some of the others that are uh, near the end. We'll see. We'll see what else happens. Uh, so far, definitely a thumbs up on that one. A tepid thumbs up though, also because it's not really a genre I am super into and it is so simplified. The, for example, the roguelite action. I, I love roguelikes, right? But it is so simplified that I'm like, I want to go out of my way to play this roguelike. I'll rather play something that I, you know, get some kind of character progression, loot and all that stuff instead of like a tactical type of version of, of Turn base, and I say roguelike because it plays exactly like turn base rogue, it's just without all the progression layers, all that stripped down. Anyway, thumbs up. I don't think I want to play it again. It was, it, it's a good game, it belongs, it's good. Next up, we're going back to the very beginning. It's going to be Barbuta. I look forward to uh, whatever incredible retro experience that will be.